everyone, so today's video is going to be a Trader Joe's haul. Um, and kind of like a shop with me, and I promise this time I have my phone turned horizontally, so we should be good. But I'm going to take you guys with me, hopefully it's not, oh, it's right there. Hopefully it's not too crowded and crazy. It is right before school starts back up after the new year, so I, I'm assuming it looks kind of packed. But we're gonna try it and not be embarrassed for the fact that I'm feeling, filming groceries, right? No one's embarrassed by that, right? Okay, so let's go inside. Okay, so we are back home now. Um, please ignore my table behind me. <laughs> we still haven't built it yet. Anyway, um, we are back home and I'm just gonna show you the stuff that I picked up. I do wanna do a quick disclaimer um, that all of the stuff that I got is more like specialty, snacky foods. There's not like actual regular groceries. Um, our Trader Joe's is pretty far away, so I don't go there for regular grocery shopping, so you're not gonna see like a thing of carrots or something like that. Um, you're just gonna see some specialty, specialty items. I normally grocery shop at Kroger or Walmart, so these are just fun items that I love and pick up every time I go in, or things I wanna try out. So, there we go, let's start. Okay, so we're just gonna start over here. I picked up, they have amazing deals on their flowers and there's plants. I mean everything there is just so nice. If you need to get flowers for somebody, beautiful flowers, go to Trader Joe's. Um, I picked up this, the hy hyacinth, hyacinth, I can't even say it. Um, I said in my Target haul that I'm terrible and I kill plants, but I decided to go ahead and get it. This was only $2.99. It comes in a glass jar and it was so pretty. So this one's purple. They had pink and white and I'm regretting not getting the white, but it'll still be really pretty. And I decided I'm going to try to keep it living. So it seems pretty easy after the instructions, so we'll see. Okay, moving on over here. This is the uh, Trader Joe's Chipotle Black Bean Dip. I haven't tried this yet. Um, I just got it to kind of try and bring it over to my family because they love black bean dip. Um, and I love Chipotle, so we're going to try it out. Now, I see this all the time on people's Instagrams and um, like Trader Joe's hauls and stuff like that. So I just tried it. Tried, I decided to try it out. It is the Everything But the Bagel Sesame Seasoning Blend with sea salt, garlic, and onion. I guess it just tastes like an everything bagel. Um, so yeah, I decided to give this is a try. Um, their seasonings are super, super great. I love getting their stuff. They're only about $1.99 and I normally have multiple of them. Um, this is one of my very favorites. It's the uh, Trader Joe's Garlic Salt. This was the last one and I think there was a lady who was trying to, waiting for me in line to get the next one and then she just like got disappointed and walked away and I felt bad. Um, but I love the pink Himalayan sea salt and then the everyday seasoning. I think there's another one that I like a lot there too. So definitely check out their spices. Really, really good value. Um, I also picked up this, which is a balsamic glaze. I haven't tried this yet, but I love to use like balsamic in different foods, but it's kind of annoying sometimes to have to make your own like vinaigrette or glaze or something like that. So this was, I want to try it out. I don't know. I think this is new. Maybe it's not, but here we go for trying that one out. Um, next is their Trader Joe's Jumbo Pitted Greek Kalamata Olives. I love olives, especially Kalamata Olives. These were cheaper than they, I can get them at uh, like Walmart or Kroger, so I picked that up. These are new for me. These are black bean and cheese taquitos. Um, they looked good. I kind of want to go, a, not vegetarian, but just a little less meat in my life. Um, without a gallbladder, I just don't digest it as well as I used to. So we're going to try some of these black bean and cheese taquitos. I think Ollie will like them too. They're easy too for like lunches and stuff because you just take two out in microwave and then yeah. So got to put these in the freezer though. I wanted to try out a Linny and Larry's cookie. I've never tried them. I've seen a lot of people really like them. This is the double chocolate one. They were only like 89 cents or something, so I thought it was worth trying out. This next thing is mac and cheese bites by Trader Joe's. Um, 
I haven't tried these, haven't heard much about these, but I know my husband will like them and Ollie. So yeah, that was a random item I picked up. This is the Trader Joe's Turkey Gobbler Wrap. Their wraps are so good. Their burritos, like the ones that are by like the fresh food section, super, super yummy. Um, I haven't tried this one yet, but it has roast turkey, stuffing, cranberries and cream cheese and a flour tortilla. Sounds right up my alley. I have to use it soon, <laughs> eat it soon, but I got it for actually next week. Um, this is my favorite thing and the reason I go to Trader Joe's. It is the curried white chicken deli salad. This stuff is so good. I have, it's just so good. It's so good. If you like curry, try this. It's not spicy. It's like sweet, but also like savory. Oh my gosh. It is so good. I don't think, yeah. I have nothing else to say besides I wish I could just get this so much easier than I do. So it's a treat. I bought two. Don't judge me. All right. Next is the organic apple carrot fruit sauce crushers. These are just like little pouches. Um, Ollie doesn't like these, but I think Eleanor will. And so I decided to try them out on Eleanor. Sometimes it's nice because she's eating more like solid foods now. So giving her a full pouch sometimes is a little heavy. So mixing this up with other foods I think will be nice. So, because she's still getting some apple, some carrot in there, and stuff like that. Oh, there's also pumpkin puree in here, too. So, anyway. Yes. The next thing is some more kombucha, because I love kombucha. This is the pomegranate hibiscus kombucha. This, I think, is a new one, um, and I was excited. This is cheap. Sometimes kombucha can be really expensive, so... I'm excited to try this one out. I just had a hibiscus one today, and I think it was raspberry hibiscus, and it was so good. So I am excited for that. This is the other reason I go to Trader Joe's. <laughs> macaroons. I love French macaroons, but they're so expensive, crazy expensive, and hard to find. So um, these are like $3 for a pack of 12, or $3.99 or something for a pack of 12, and I get them every time I go in. So good. They also have a pumpkin one during the fall time. Not my favorite. These are much better to me. And I think they also have like a chocolate and vanilla one um, that's just chocolate and vanilla. But I like all the different flavors. All right. Over here we have some vegetable masala burgers. These are really good. It's about the only really frozen Indian, Indian food that I like. Um, I, my husband's Indian. So we eat a lot of Indian food and I'm used to like a lot of homemade Indian food and just like a lot of really just good Indian food. So I'm super judgmental and it's terrible. I'm just picky um, and it's hard to find like good like jarred sauces that are Indian that actually taste good or like frozen. Uh, but these are actually really yummy and my husband likes them a lot and so does my daughter. So these are just vegetable masala burgers and they're super cheap. Um, here's some mac and cheese. I got this from my husband because he really likes this. And then here's an Indian frozen meal that I decided just to try because why not. Um, it's pan paneer tikka masala and with Spanish basma basmati rice. Spinach, not Spanish. That would be weird. I keep, I kept reading that at the store too. I kept saying Spanish and I was like, that's, that's weird. But no, spinach. Um, looks really good. I love paneer. I love tikka masala. I decided I'm going to try it out. Hopefully... Hopefully it's good. It says authentic Indian recipe, so we'll see. We'll see. All right, moving on. We're almost done. Um, I got some sweet potato tortilla chips. These are really, really yummy. Um, it's made with white corn and sweet potatoes. I'm going to use it for the chipotle black bean dip, but um, they're really yummy. I really like these. So if you like sweet potatoes, give these a try. Um, I got two packages of the roasted seaweed snack. I love this. Olive loves it, surprisingly. And it's just good, like, it's, how many calories? 30 calories for half a package. And it's just so easy to like pop in your mouth and it's like satisfying and so lightweight, but really, really yummy. Um, these are the Speculoos cookies. Now, everybody knows about the cookie butter from Trader Joe's. It's something that they're known for. I like their cookie butter. I had it in my um, cart, but then I was like, eh. I saw these and I'm like, I'm really hoping that they taste similar to that. So um, these are vegan apparently. So that's kind of cool. Um, and that's something I like about Trader Joe's is because they mark things really easily. So they'll write vegetarian or vegan or whatever. They like, everything's very clearly marked. So 
Um, but I decided to give these a try, so hopefully it tastes as good as a cookie butter. I feel like I never finished the cookie butter, and I feel like this is, these are good, like, portions. I could have them at nighttime or something. I don't know. And then these triple ginger snaps. Super, super good, too. I always get one of these when I go in. I typically bring it to my dad because he loves ginger snaps. But these are the best ginger snaps I've ever had. There's, like, real pieces of crystallized ginger in there, and it's so good. These are the pretzel bagels. Also, another reason I go in there, um, I like to use this with the curry chicken salad over there. Totally not a healthy meal, but such a good one. All right, the last three items, two of which I opened up in the car because I was starting. These are the Trader Joe's pita crisps with cranberries and pumpkin seeds. These were okay. Um, I, I think I picked these up on kind of like a whim. I think they were like 99 cents or something. I don't know why I grabbed them. And they taste like healthy cinnamon toast crunch. I don't know. I don't know what else I'm going to eat them. I don't know. I was That was a random. I don't know why I got that. I was hungry. Um, and then these are another thing that I opened up in the car. Now these are delicious. These are the crispy, crunchy broccoli florets. So good. If you want like a snacky item that's healthier, maybe not healthy, but healthier, um, rather than eating like chips all the time, totally such a good option or seaweed. Um, really, really good. I like the seasoning on it. It's just, they're just good. So I do recommend these. And then last but not least, I got some Joe's, Jozo's. Um, these are just the basic non-honey ones, you know, like just, I don't know, basic ones, whatever. You know what I mean? It's just like regular Cheerios. Um, because I got these for Eleanor because she can't have honey yet because she's not a year and I think that she'll be like them. So that is all that I got. I, like I said, I didn't get a whole lot. Um, but I did get some of my favorites and some new things to try. So hopefully it works out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys all very soon. Bye guys.